AI companies are facing a bit of a problem, and that's access to GPU processing. GPUs are scarce, and the industrial ones that they use to train these AI models are hard to get your hands on. NVIDIA is three to six months out if you want to buy one, and GPU rentals are also so scarce that pricing is moving up. What if there was thousands and thousands of these GPUs that otherwise just sat idle? Enter the world of decentralized GPU rental projects, and these projects have been popping up like hotcakes. <laughs> Most of them, honestly, are just spam meme coins, but the ones that are actually trying to solve this problem are trying to take these underutilized GPUs for people's gaming computers and smaller data centers, put them on a network, and let the AI companies rent them. Now, these GPUs usually have a fraction of the power of the big AI GPUs, but the thought is collectively they can process, you know, a significant amount of AI tasks. IONET is one of the leading projects in the space by GPU count with 70,000 claimed verified GPUs on their network, and they've got a token launching any day. My name's Kyle, and at CIA, we look at the data, try to cut through the hopium, and help you make a more informed decision on the projects that uh, you'd like to look into. All right, let's get into the deep dive. And this is IONET. Their token's going to be IO, pretty, pretty creative. Uh, and it's a deep end project, which just stands for Decentralized Physical Infrastructure Network. And they built this on uh, Solana for lower transaction fees and should be a bit faster too. The sister project, they've got a sister project called BC8.ai. It's an AI gem image generator. I played around with it a little bit. It's it's cool. They've got an architecture. You can read all about it. I'll have, actually, this is a good point. I put out a more detailed report on my uh, the website. If you sign up for the newsletter, you'll get it usually before the video. And uh, I can just go more in depth here than there than I can in the video. So sign up to get the nuggets. Uh, uh, they also utilize a VPN mesh network, which is supposedly more decentralized and more scalable. Now, I'm not technical enough to totally understand it, but uh, I'll take the word for it here. They have a couple products, the GPU network focused on AI. Um, they've got some render GPUs, it looks like that they also can tap into. And uh, they also have data storage. They partnered with Filecoin to do that and some CPUs uh, available as well. So they've got uh, a pretty big market to hit. The markets claim to be around, you know, about 1 trillion by the end of the year. Even if it's a fraction of that, that's a pretty big market. And it covers, you know, consumer and uh, enterprise markets. And the thing about Ionet is they've got GPUs, CPUs, and some cloud storage. The only thing I'd caution is a lot of these cloud storage uh, projects aren't fully utilized, and you'll see that's kind of becoming a problem with uh, the GPU markets as, as well. Now, their GPU market is totally separate because you have on these projects a consumer side and kind of a worker side, right? So you need to get the you know customer, and you also have to get the uh, actual working GPU processing. So we'll cover the other side of it here. The G GPU markets, where they're getting their GPUs from, are individuals and data centers, like I mentioned. They've got some partnerships. And their GPUs, interestingly, they had some GPU spoofing issues. There's a big thing with Barton Scarelli. We called them out for uh, a bunch of stuff. And uh, one of the things was like, you have 500,000 GPUs listed. That sounds unrealistic. So they started verifying these GPUs uh, with a hash. Now, they're still haven't totally launched the token and everything. So there's a lot of rewards for having your GPUs on the network. And I'll be interested to see like what happens once they, once they launch. Uh, and once those uh, airdrops, you know, are no longer being earned towards like how many of those stay, stay uh, on the network. I'm sure there'll be incentives for being on the network. And you can see from the emission schedules um, that is, that is probably very likely. Uh, so they said they have 70,000 verified GPUs on the website. If you go in the network tab in their Explorer, you can find um, where they list that. But then they say they have only 22,000 workers. So I have a little bit of an issue with the transparency of data, and they have a history of these da this data not matching. Now, I'm sure they explain this in one of their AMAs, but they do a lot of AMAs, which is, I think, a good thing. But I just haven't had time to sift through all of them to figure out you know, what these definitions actually mean.
Now, they do claim to have 1,300 industrial GPUs like the A100s and H100s, and that is good news. Now, they're not all the top, top tier, but if they're an industrial GPU, it's a good GPU you know, people want to use. So they have also recently announced that they're going to get another 1,000 industrial GPUs from a project called Aether. I believe that's correct. And uh, currently, though, the utilization is, is is lacking. They're showing around, you know, roughly six hundred dollars uh, a day in worker earnings, and for that amount of GPUs on the network, they're really having a consumer problem. That only goes to like twenty two two hundred twenty thousand um, dollars in annualized worker earnings a year, which is not enough. Now the tokenomics are it's a supply of eight hundred a million. They've announced all this, and this will be in the research uh, notes as well. They've got 300 tokens that will be emitted uh, on a schedule. Those are to stakers. That's a large amount, and we'll look at the emission on the next slide. Um, but they do claim that they will be burning uh, some of these tokens through income. But the rate, I just can't find what it is. And like I said, it might be in one of the AMAs, but I, I just can't sift through all of that, unfortunately. Uh, the token sale has been delayed twice, although they should be launching on a uh, centralized exchange any day. And there is, it's understandable, there are issues with, uh, you know, announcing it. They don't want to announce the date before the, uh, the central centralized exchange announces it. They got to be on the same page for optics reasons, right? The allocations are, uh, you know, 50% community. They've got uh, a good bit going to funders. They've got 12% going to uh, the seed round, 10% going to Series A, 11% going to some initial contributors, and then they've got a bunch going to R&D. So not great tokenomics, to be honest. Uh, but the biggest concern I have is with the emission schedule. They're emitting a lot of tokens over the next couple of years, and token holders will be diluted, which I think is fine because they have a lot of GPUs on the network, but they got to get those things utilized. The only way I think you can have this type of emission schedule is if you're able to you know, bring in lots of, of revenue. And to bring in lots of revenue, you need lots of customers and lots of GPUs. They got the GPUs, just need the customers. Now, the team uh, and community, the team seems to be very transparent. Like I said, they're doing lots of AMAs. They've got a build out LinkedIn page. Um, I will say real quickly, there's a little bit of question about uh, one of the founders. Now, I'm not going to go into it. You can find other videos on it. Do your own research on that if you'd like. The Discord community is also very strong. They've got a lot of members and it's very, very active in a bunch of different languages. Um, a lot of regular announcements, which I like to see, and, and really good team communication. Uh, Geographically, they've got uh, people all across the world, which is um, good to see, really good to see. Uh, and their partners, like I said, they raised uh, 30 million over two rounds. And that was a Series A and a couple of uh, VCs and, and uh, early investors. And the Series A was raised at about a billion dollar uh, valuation. So the catalysts and risks here, they've got a robust GPU market. I mean, they've got tons of GPUs on the network. They have a, seems like a strong team. They react uh, really quickly to problems and seem to ex execute. I've been following them for about a month now and uh, like frequently communicate with the uh, community. So they respond to the community as well, which I think is a good sign of a, of a healthy project. They've also got uh, a lot of good financial backing. And uh, I think this project could grow legs. Uh, the downside though that I see is um, a lot of the tokens are held by whales. And I'll say just right now, you know, before the token launches, there's probably some going to, you know, the, the centralized exchanges and stuff and, you know, different uh, payouts that they've got to do before the uh, project launches. And you might see that shake out a bit. The network also is a bit of a concern to me because it's so underutilized. You really need to see some sort of customers using the product for me to get uh, a little more excited about this. One of the other things about this project for me is that it's a late stage token sale. So it might come on the market at a market cap of a billion or three billion. You just don't really know until you know it shakes out a couple of days after they launch on the centralized exchange. So you're not really getting the upside. Um, it's a little riskier when you invest in smaller projects, but uh, they do have uh, more upside. And I think that's what you know a lot of us are, are looking for. They do also have a strong emission schedule and unknown burn rate. So 
it's hard to kind of figure out how much you're going to be diluted, especially in these early years when they're releasing, you know, eight and 6% of uh, tokens. Now, this is a chart that I put together for some of the other projects. The only thing I updated here was the market cap assumption based on what the market's valuing each GPU at, which I think is a little bit uh, inflated. If I own it actually, you know, has these 22,000 GPUs, then they should be a market cap of about 6 billion, which, which is huge. But like I said, the problem I have is the, only about six or 10 of these GPUs are working at any given time when I go on the site. And that's a really low utilization rate. And it kind of concerns me, especially if you're being valued at, uh, you know, a billion dollars, you got to get, you know, consumers and customers coming in. Now, the speculative potential for this project is a, a little lower. That's just because they're doing late stage uh, token offering, which means that they're going to be higher valued and it's not going to be the smaller cap, you know, project that has lots of growth potential. Understandable. The staying power is looking pretty good around 70%. And that's just because they've got all the GPU supply. It looks like they just need to find customers to actually use those GPUs. Uh, and the reputation score is, uh, it's pretty low just uh, because some of the questions are around the, the founder, but um, I'll let you do that research. I don't want to dog on anyone because, you know, he did a couple failed projects, but hey, he's got a good team around him, it seems like this time and could totally flip the script. There's a lot of missing inputs too, because the token hasn't launched. So you just don't have as, as much info as you usually do in one of these models. Now, the Current and uh, market cap was kind of an estimate based off what people are thinking the price will come out as. So I would kind of take that with a grain of salt. We have to see where it does launch at. But uh, bottom case is a billion. And that's because, you know, that's what they were uh, seated at. And uh, they are having a little issue getting people to use the network. But the peak bull case could be pretty high for, them, you know, even up to 10, 10 billion plus. But, you know, Here's the thing, if they come on at 3 billion, uh, it's only a 3.3x. And I think usually we're looking for a little bit uh, more than that here. Now, this project's a little tough to analyze in the sense that you don't know what your investment could do in terms of multiples until the market really values this project. And the other thing I'd say is that, you know, usually the market's pretty good at valuing projects for what they are really worth. So, you know, you'd have to make an assumption that, um, whatever market cap this thing is at, that they can fix the uh, consumer problem they're having, the customer problem they're having, get some more AI companies on board and grow throughout the bull market. Now, when it comes to one of their founders, it's a medium concern to me, just because if you have failed projects in the past, it doesn't bode well for the future and you really need to lean on a strong team uh, in order to perform you know, better the next time. And I think they do have a strong team, but... It's a, uh, a matter of watching them execute and get more customers on board. Now, if you're still here, you probably got some value out of this video and I would love to get a subscription from you so you can get a notification the next time I put out another project video or a macro update. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.